In this video, we'll explore the basics of indexing and subsetting vectors in R by writing codes that perform these listed tasks for vectors x and y. The C with parentheses function is used to combine multiple values into a vector. Here, x is a numeric vector with 8 elements, and y is a character vector also with 8 elements. I'm going to control enter to run x and y. To select a single element from a vector, we use its index inside square brackets. So to select the third element from vector y, we use y square bracket 3. And that outputs hat. Next, since the first three items of x are consecutive, we can use a sequence of indices x square bracket 1 colon 3. Or we can use the head function with x comma 3 to return the first three elements of x. Both of them return the first three items of x here. Similarly for items 5 to 8, x square bracket 5 colon 8. Since these are the last four items of the vector, we can also use tail x comma 4 to generate the same result. We can also select multiple elements from a vector using a vector of indices. To select the first, third, and eighth values of x, we can type x, square bracket, then a vector of the indices we want. Running that gives 10, 30, and 80. I'm going to press Ctrl L to clear the console. To exclude the second element from vector y, we can use negative index 2. You can see that dog in the second position is now removed from the output. We can also exclude the first three items by indexing from negative 1 to negative 3. You can see in the output that the first three items are now removed. To remove the first and the eighth elements, we can also index with a corresponding negative vector. You can see that cat and moon are now removed from the list. The last three are examples of logical subsetting, as we'll be using the logical operators such as greater, at most, and or. To get all the values of x that are greater than 30, we can use x square bracket x greater than 30. And that outputs values from 40 to 80. Next, we combine multiple conditions using logical operators. For x values that are above 20, we use x greater than 20. We use the ampersand for and, then x less or equal to 60 for at most 60. Running that gives x values from 30 to 60. Finally, we list the values of x that are either 20 or above 60. We use the double equal sign to check the condition that x equals 20. Note that a single equal sign will assign the value 20 to x. For or, we use the vertical bar called pipe, then x greater than 60. Running that gives 20, 70, and 80 as expected. And that's it. Thanks for watching.